All right, so this is a uh, kind of part two of uh, some of our more, more advanced um, harp harmonic studies. So um, what I'm going to do here in this lesson is kind of add to what we did in the last one. If you haven't looked at the last lesson, just go to uh, guitarlessons365.com and get the uh, the PDF download for it, and uh, you know, and just watch the video lesson, and you'll be able to follow along very easy. I'm just going to add a few. Uh, techniques to it that's going to really enable us to really enhance the harp harmonic effect. All right, so what we're going to do here is take a that same shape and then this the, those three chords again, and we're going to basically add some things to them. Let me first explain what the what we're going to be doing. Um, you can take this basic chord shape and we can create some special, pull, do some pull-offs and hammer-ons off of them. Um, this is a technique that's very, uh, if you ever heard Tommy Emanuel play, he does this a lot with his harmonics. Um, a lot of the guys do. So this is something that especially that's kind of something that you'll find in his playing a lot. And it's kind of using it basing around in, in triplets or um, um, kind of 16th note like sextuplets and stuff. So here's what's going on. We're going to pick um, from our, if you remember our previous lesson, when we were descending with the picking pattern, we were coming, we would pick the, the harmonic at the 15th fret, I mean the 17th fret, uh, 12 up from here, the harp harmonic, and have our, our finger pluck the natural note on the first string, and then do the fourth fret, a fourth string harmonic, and then the second string with the natural note. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some pull-offs here. I'm going to put your pinky or your third finger, whatever you feel comfortable with. We're going to pick the third string again with a harmonic and reach over it with that third finger or your pinky, pick that note and pull it off to five. So we'll have this. And then we're going to keep going down with it to the next group, the harmonic on the fourth string and then to pick the the note on the twelve of the second string and pull it off to five. So we have kind of really brings out that harp sound to it. We're just kind of just adding pull off to the beginning of the notes. All right. Now we can do the opposite of that, obviously, we can do hammer-ons. When we were ascending, you saw when we did the shape like this, we picked the, the harmonic on the sixth string, the third finger would strike the um, natural string, uh, the natural note on the third string, then we do five with the harmonic, natural note on the second string, and then the fourth string harmonic, sorry, and then the so now when we get, let's say here, we're going to do the fifth string and we're going to reverse what we just did. Fifth string harmonic and pluck that second string and hammer on. And then pluck the fourth string and then when you hit the natural note on the first string, hammer on there. So we have this. So the whole ascending would be Now we can combine those and add those to what we did before. We can take the whole pattern going up and then start the descending pattern now and then repeat that. So basically all we want to do is I'm going to take this, this was obviously our first chord in the progression that we did um, in the previous lesson, and then we went to this chord, and then this one, and we did our basic harp harmonic pattern off that. Now we're going to do those again, and we're just going to add some hammer-ons and pull-offs to them. So we're going to do exactly what we just did with the first string, with the first form, that'll be all, what we'll do off the first chord. Then we'll do the exact same hammer-on and pull-off patterns where we hammer on now 
we will pick the fourth, uh, you know, the harmonic on the sixth string, natural note on the third, uh, then the harmonic on the fifth string, natural note on the second, and then I'm going to hammer on to that four with your third finger. It might be a little difficult to do that. You've got to really use the knuckle in the back of your hand there. Really do it. If you try to do it with the middle of your finger, it's kind of hard. And then on the fourth string harmonic, and then pick the first string, hammer on there. And then when you get to the third string harmonic, you start coming back down. So your third string harmonic, pick the first string again, natural, pull off. Pick the fourth string harmonic. Have your third finger over on this four on the fourth string now. Pick that string natural. Pull it off to the three. And continue the pattern down. And then start over. All right. And then obviously when we move everything down one fret, we have the same thing. Okay, so we just put all those together. All right, and then you can slowly, we can just work on speeding that up. All right, so this just gives you an idea of what you could do. You can add some um, kind of little hammer-ons and pull-offs that really helps uh, get that harp technique going and you really create some nice flourishes when you can combine them going across with different um, scales. Remember that really what we're playing when we're doing these harmonics is really sustained scales and what when you hammer on notes some of those notes that you were unable to play because of for you know you know you can only play but so many notes in the scale sustain them well, when you do your hammer-ons, you can sometimes do the ones, fill in the blanks and the ones that you miss. So if you're doing a seven note scale, when you try to line that up across, like we talked about this shape right here, that first shape is just uh, an A minor pentatonic scale. Well, uh, you can add now notes to your, you can have your full scales and any notes that you, you want, you can add them with the hammer-ons or the pull-offs. All right, so it's just something to play around with, okay? So please let me know what you think. Uh, go to guitarlessons365.com and support the site any way you can. And uh, there will be a download here for the music for this entire lesson. So you could uh, follow along and watch it again and um, get it down and then take it and do your own thing with it. All right? I appreciate it. Bye-bye.